Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Leonardo's nine months update. He is turning nine months tomorrow as I'm filming this. You're watching it a little later than that. But the month of February was, you know, short months. So yeah, just like that, he's nine months old. And in case you're new here, Welcome, my name is Karina. I'm a full-time mom, a stay-at-home mom. And here on my channel, I share my experience, ideas, tips and tricks. I have this baby, his name is Leonardo, he's nine months old. And I have a daughter, she is three years old. Her name is Mikaela. And here I try to make motherhood and fatherhood a bit easier on you. So if this sounds like something uh, you'd like to watch, something you could get a value from, consider subscribing, hit the bell icon. I post every single Thursday and sometimes I do a bonus video here and there. On another note, many of you know I am from Ukraine and as again many of you probably know uh, what a horrible thing happened and still happening at this point of time. And in case you were looking for good ways to support Ukraine, Ukrainian army, women, kids, uh, refugees, everybody who is fleeing their homes, I will leave a few links down below that you can pick from. Uh, those are good sources uh, to donate. Also, a good way to support Ukraine is to donate body armor in case you have some used body armor or unused body armor or maybe your friends are military. Spread the word. I leave the links down below again. Thank you so much. Let's get into his update. So, this month, as I said, was short, but whew, it was a very hard month. Again, uh, we were sick through the whole month. Uh, he is much better now. He just got off of his antibiotics um, and he was taking antibiotics for a little while because uh, he had a reaction to the first kind they gave him in about five, six days. So then he had to take um, another one for 10 days and then he got another ear infection. So in total he took antibiotics for almost like 20 days straight. Oh my, um, yeah, uh, it's a lot on his, you know, little stomach and gut. So uh, luckily I'm able to breastfeed. So that helps a lot. But besides that, I started giving him probiotic. Uh, and I'll be giving him, continue giving it to him, hopefully that um, helps to keep him, you know, healthy for a little while. I know that was happening because Mikaela just started uh, her school and she's exposed to so many new things and um, yeah, it's been over a month that she's been in school and it was hard and now uh, the war, my family is in the war zone and uh, just that whole invasion of Ukraine is uh, really taking a toll on me and uh, my mental health and state and of course, especially him, well Mika too, uh, they are feeling it and uh, they're pretty clingy, I wasn't able to give them quality attention in the last couple of weeks as much as I uh, usually do, uh, so yeah. We're, I'm getting used to what's going on and just coming back uh, to trying to live my normal life and read less news. By the way, uh, I post more on my stories on Instagram about that. So in case you want to follow uh, with um, follow up with me and with uh, the situation, you can follow me on Instagram and check my stories. I post English <laughs> stories as well as uh, on Russian and Ukrainian language. So um, besides that, we have some great achievements uh, this month. Leonardo pulled himself up and uh -huh. as you maybe can tell, he is currently standing up on my legs. Uh, yes! Oh, yes, my eight months old pulled himself up and wants to walk. Yeah, he's far from that. Obviously, he's just learning to pull himself up. He does not do it all day long. He's mostly crawling. Um, but that's a big one. Mikaela did it a little after her nine months mark. What happened? Let me give you something to play. He wants this. And we've got another tooth. There is one tooth on top. You want to show them your tooth? Let's try to show your tooth. Let me see. Let me see. All right, there. So besides that two that already erupted, there are two more that are erupting right now. And in the past three days, he has been very 
clingy and very fussy at night and I can see one of the frontis and one canine tooth coming through but they're not there just yet uh, so I don't know for how long it's gonna last but he's definitely teasing and now I can actually finally tell the difference between him having like ear pain um, or teasing so when he had ear pain he would put fingers in his mouth and won't take a breast he won't nurse that would happen at night he would just cry and cry and we would have to like rock him and then that would repeat again and again she wouldn't be able to sleep so we had to give him pain medicine tylenol uh, motrin um a few nights in the row because like i said um uh, he got an ear infection after michaela had flu that day i recorded his eight months update that's when we went to the doctor and found out he had ear infection no flu by the way his flu test came back negative and then he was getting better but Michaela brought him something else and <laughs> he got a lot more mucus congestion again and his different ear got infected uh, so yeah that that was a wild ride now that he's teasing at night he wants just constantly nurse uh, and he's actually touching his ears a lot although we took him to the doctor two days ago and his ears are perfect so it's so confusing when his ears hurt he puts fingers in his mouth and when he's teasing he's touching his ears mouth as well um but how he is nursing showed me the difference so yeah um let's talk about breastfeeding then uh he's still not very interested in nursing during the day if I offer him, he'll take it, but he'll be, you know, looking around, very distracted. Um, so he has been feeding uh, for his naps, which he still has two naps. Sometimes he can feed third time in case, uh, you know, maybe he's fussy because of teasing or maybe he's sleepy already and uh, his schedule has been off uh, for multiple reasons. Uh, so three times during the day max and then he nurses for his bedtime uh, in the beginning when i'm still awake he wakes up maybe once or twice uh, so he does have um, maybe two hour stretches sometimes there would be three and four hour stretches but that's not um constant situation uh, unfortunately but i know why he's teasing but after that uh, he is in our bed and nursing constantly uh, so he's getting lots of and lots of breast milk at night um solid so he's eating more and more obviously because he's growing more and more and um, his appetite is just it's just huge and it's great i love it so he's having three meals a day he's having about two snacks a day his portions increased since the last update definitely i can tell that and good news yes let me pick up your toy good news he doesn't seem to react to any foods anymore talking about his eczema knock on the wood he has no more eczema uh, he's eating yogurt a lot of yogurt you can see it in what he eats in the day video uh he loves it um you know great source of protein and calcium just buy a good one i talk about that in that video um so yeah i've been still putting his eczema lotion on a lot uh, but luckily yeah uh, he doesn't have any reaction to any food uh, he is always hungry he's always hungry and I love that so much uh, we are going to his nine months checkup in a couple of weeks I'll update you on his stats uh, at his nine months checkup uh, in his 10 months update uh, we'll see you how many percentile is he because uh, he can wear 12 months uh, size onesies okay but 12 month size pants are too short for him or uh, footed pajamas uh, so he's wearing a lot of 18 month size clothes so i'm guessing that he uh, is uh, still super tall for his age also very interesting situation so remember I was complaining about his diapers leaking a lot and uh, I told you that he's wearing size 6 diapers for like 
three months now so his body changed somehow six months diapers feed them loosely now like feed them feed him good they used to barely fit on him so i think you know how they tell you um babies either grow a lot uh weight wise or length wise so one thing at a time so i think he grew lengthwise a lot like his legs and like his bottom stretched a lot so that his hips are not so wide and he's not licking as often now even if he's you know nursing all night and laying on his side so that was great i did buy booster pads one of you suggested um they didn't really help uh, because the problem was actually the sides uh, and how the diaper was fitting. Yeah, Liz, what should I give you? Mommy's gonna talk a little more about you and then we're gonna eat your lunch, okay? You wanna, you wanna check out my hairbrush? Okay. Uh, so, what else? Uh, like I said, he was clingy. He is still a little clingy. And I told you before, when Michaela is at school, there is nobody to entertain him and he is a total mama's boy, he wants to be next to me, he does not play on his own much, but I can put him in his high chair, give him a snack or something uh, to eat with his hands, some finger foods, and he'll stay there for a little while. So yeah, he needs a lot of entertainment, he's not very entertained by his toys, uh, unless I stay there with him on the floor and play. He's super mobile, he's all over the place now trying to pull himself up all day long. It's not always uh, very successful. He hasn't figured out just yet that he what exactly he needs to grab onto to stand up tall because he's trying to stand up holding on to the floor or like some very, you know, short things, maybe like Michaela's uh, stool, little stool that she has next to a sink. Uh, so working on that. And yet he is a super sweet, calm, and um, I would say a patient baby. I saw he was not very patient before, but now he got some more patience when he cannot get yeah. something. He does not scream right away, um, but he likes to take <laughs> his sister's toys when she's playing with them. She doesn't want to share, even though she loves to share. Like She shares food with her friends when we have friends over. She shares food with us, she shares toys with us, but with him it's a different story. Plus. This is her way to get attention. Uh, she's, you know, trying to push him and take away his toys and whatnot. Although when he does cry, she is singing to him or, or making this ch -ch -ch noise and trying to um, pat his head and tell him don't cry. So uh, that's sweet. So here is um, a little bit of everything in their relationship. <laughs> Uh, but he's becoming a little sassy, uh, he wants exactly what she plays with and also we switched his car seat uh, we had like a travel uh, system with a car seat you can carry obviously he is uh, actually i know his weight he is 23 pounds which is about 10 kilograms uh, that's a lot um, so it was really hard to carry him like that and uh, he he wouldn't stay asleep in there anyways. He does fall asleep in the car um, by himself a lot still, which is so helpful. But we did uh, install like a big boy car seat for him and I think it's a little even more comfortable now for him to sleep in there. Uh, so that's about him. Uh, what's about mama? Well, I told you my mental health, um, mental state is not the best, but um, honestly, uh, comparing to what I heard from uh, other friends who also uh, live abroad from Ukraine, uh, um, I've been holding on very good. Uh, I think I just don't have time to break down. Um, first couple of days were super hard but now uh, I know that you know I have to take care of my kids and I'm trying to concentrate on that no exercise I was um, sick myself not very long time ago uh, sleep is um, all right for me lately and uh, honestly physically in the past two weeks I was feeling pretty good um, so very grateful for that I was able to you know keep up with my household stuff like 
dishes and cooking and um, laundry more or less uh, better than when I was uh, sick with flu and cold and everything else so that's great right I don't know what about my weight maybe I've lost some weight because of uh, just the stress uh, yeah we're gonna go eat lunch okay we're gonna go eat lunch soon um, but that's all it's just very um, very hard times for me and all the Ukrainians I'm very worried about my family and uh, just praying and if you can pray for Ukraine and people of Ukraine that would be very helpful as well um, thank you so much for being here if you like this update make sure to give it a like and we want to see you next week we want to wish you to have happy and healthy babies right Leonardo? And we want to wave you bye bye we see you again next thursday oh you're so sweet bye <laughs>